Be for Raymond Johnson. Thank you, Raymond Johnson, Biblical Concepts Ministries. Um, I only have three minutes, so I'll get short. Um, <clears throat> I'll skip all of the uh, broad view of the 30,000-foot view of this that I focused on because, uh, you know, that's not going to be received anyway. So let's get to the, the real root of this. Uh, I've been making notes just in today's meeting. There's so many inconsistencies I, I haven't. I've got them all on paper yet, but they've been a lot of inconsistencies revealed uh, in this bill. So I am here to oppose the hit free zone. Um, the hospital uh, representatives, as pointed out yesterday, has made it clear that they are pushing their agenda of no child uh, discipline or uh, through uh, physical discipline or spanking. Um, I don't think that's the role of city government. Um, uh, the bill sponsor yesterday asked about if I knew the crime rate in his district. I will tell you to expand on that, that the, the, the problem is that the crime rate is so bad across the city, particularly in these particular districts, more so in minority districts because of, uh, not discipline, not have their fatherless homes, nor no moral values being taught. Um, so that's one problem, uh, talking about, this is about safety. You know, it's a joke for this this council to talk about public safety. Now we're screaming about violence and safety. But a year ago, you passed a bill that lets men use women's restrooms and showers and changing facilities. So is that safe to say that, you know, we're going to let men uh, use these ch changing rooms with the, you know, the law allows them to do that? Is that safe? That's not safe. Uh, so I'm making a recommendation on my last minute. Look, um, I don't support the bill. Nobody I know supports the bill. As vice president of the West Side Republican Club, our club doesn't support the bill. Um, when I reach out to about 100 pastors, none of them are going to support the bill. So let me make a compromise suggestion to the bill sponsor. Look, I see where you're trying to go. And I, I don't know why it's not really been brought up or why it's so hard to come to this conclusion. If you want to do this, uh, we'll talk more about it uh, if I can speak at your other meeting. Um, why don't we just simply say that this is going to be a, a, a no violence resolution? The, if you read the bill over and over and over, it talks about violence against children. Just simply say we're not going to tolerate violence, um, you know, and, and, and move on with it. This is, this, you don't have, you're equating, as it's been said, uh, parental discipline with violence. So have your, your violent free zone or safe space or whatever. And I, by the way, I appreciate uh, the, the comments from Councilman Ferrero. He seems to be on point. Thank you for my time. Commissioner Levy. Thank, thank you, Raymond. Um, you sent a email to us, and um, there are a number of things that, as you said, <laughs> are thirty thousand feet that I don't really we need to not talk about right now. But I think you do make uh, one comment. Um, you say uh, you would simply recommend rewording, but you say nonviolent zone. So. Mm -hmm. It sounds like um, you kind of understand the idea that that's behind this, which is we should aspire to nonviolence, um, and you're recommending just that one change. Is, is that is that uh, correct? Well, I'll be as short because I know you want me short. Uh, I just think the, if you read the whole first page, we need to scrap the whole first page. I mean, I can sit down later and jot it down, but I mean, why can't we just simply, the, the two-page bill could be a one or two paragraph resolution that simply says the city of Jacksonville doesn't condone uh, viol any type of violence, but, you know, uh, now Raymond's way of putting it would also be to add um, the fact that this is excluding parental discipline. I don't know if I'll get that out of this council, but making it short and simple that we're not um, okay. 
you, you see my point. I do. Thanks. Okay, thank you.